so she's back with another video on how to farm Grasp of Malak efficiently in which worlds you want. <laughs> yes, I'm laughing, Guardians, at all the hype in the forums and streamers saying, You two gunslingers with Celestial Nighthawk nearly two shot kill Omnigal. This is wrong. This is very wrong. You will not spawn enough orbs, and you'll be waiting around killing adds taking more time than in my method. This method is the normal method we run on level 16 or the heroic strike. This is the best way. This is the only way. And it's even increased with solar burn in this week's nightfall. Grasp is a devastating gun in the right hands. Use it wisely, guardians. Here we go. We always grab a sunbreaker. The rock melting point is a backup in case the tether wears off. We run scorched earth to ignite sunspots. And we run Firekeeper to gain an overshield while in those sunspots. Then we take two Night Stalkers, spec them out with Black Hole, and of course, Light of the Pack to produce more orbs. And here we go. Equip your swords. Pretty much any exotic sword will do. If it wasn't Nightfall, I'd probably run Arc, just because you have a little more range to kill her if she floats away. I bring them off with the sniper, drop the shield, they move in, tether. I usually like when they stagger their tether, like one maybe about now to clean up the ads, get more orbs. I grab the sunspots, overshield, so Trickle doesn't kill me on this week's Nightfall. And she's done that quickly. Move back, grab the orbs. Everybody grabs the orbs, and everybody has a super again. Here we go again, here's another one. Drop the shield. Ping. First tether in, grenade. Move in with the hammers. Scorched earth. Overshield. Give her a couple swings. And she's done. Grab a grasp. Oh, triple grasp. <laughs> Pick up all the orbs. Super. And we're done. So what rolls do you want? That is the question. <laughs> well, I'm laughing at all the people. Don't around the so good. Break frame is a god roll. Well, I've mastered this gun, and I've used it exclusively for months now. And I can tell you right now that that's a trash roll. Counterbalance ruins this gun. Period. A demonstration, if you will. One bullet right over the head. Another bullet right over the head. So you can't put the crosshair on his face without missing a shot. You have to put it on his neck to land two headshots and one neck shot, I guess. Body shot. Here it is again. One over the head. See, up and down is not the kick that you want. Left to right is. So brace frame or hand laid stock. So ideal rolls, I'd go with ORES or OAS in the first column, Head Seeker, Secret Round, maybe Rangefinder in the second column. Hand Laid Sock is my preference in the middle because it's pretty much the same stability as Brace Frame, but you don't lose the six rounds. One of those are must-haves. Perfect balance is not enough stability. And lastly, in the final column, Grenader, Glass Half Full, or last resort for trials. You need to take into account what works best for you. And is glass half full or head seekers bonus damage really gonna help your time to kill? Or would range finder if you have hand laid stock up the middle be a better perk? With hand laid stock, the damage fall off is hardly noticeable. And you could easily make up for it with a quick extra burst. Keep in mind this gun is deadly in a skilled hand. Not so much in a beginner's hand. It's not as forgiving as a gun like Hawksaw. I 
I find that handlaid stock and brace frame pretty much have a very, very similar bounce pattern to them. They both sort of go left and right and a little up at times, very easily tameable, unlike counterbalance. Counterbalance is straight up and down is just wrong. You don't want to be missing shots. Sure, it is controllable in the right hands, but why would you go with that when you could have a perk like Head Seeker or Secret Round in that slot? Just doesn't make sense. As you can see in the video here, I'm tearing it up. 10 kill streak, led by the grass. Side note, Bungie, please do not nerf this gun. It is one of my favorites of all time. Come check me out on Twitch. We'll be doing flawless trials runs and carries. Please subscribe and like the video. Please follow on Twitch. In the future, if the Nightfall is Voidburn, bring a Sunbreaker and two Night Stalkers. If the Nightfall is Ark, bring a Stormcaller and two Night Stalkers. Good luck getting your grasp. Sorry about all those Omnigold bonds of disappointment. You'll see why it's called that. So shout.